Hey everyone, in today's short I will show you quickly how to create an animation with Figma and After Effects. Just go to the AEUX website where you can get the plugin um, and you can install it in Figma and in After Effects. You will also need a body moving plugin to export your animation to the JSON file so later on we can import it into the, your web project. Okay, we are in the Figma file so I will quickly animate these little flowers here. I need to duplicate this one. I want to convert this one to stroke as well. So I'm gonna remove these anchors. Let's add a stroke, probably something around 24 pixels, maybe 28. We can duplicate it, minus eight pixels, and change the color to pink. Now let's overlap this little flower here. Now we can open the plugin both in Figma and After Effects. Plugins, development, Plugin, let's select the selection and send selection to After Effects. So now we can animate it. Looks like there is some issues with the layer, so let's fix it. Probably this layer has to be on top. Let's go to the main composition. I think that's good enough. Now we can add the trim paths. I think we need to add the trim paths to both of the layers end to end and start to start. So now we'll manipulate with both layers in the same time. Probably we could start our animation from here. What we are gonna do, we will grow this little flower like this. Let's add an ease. And the last piece of our animation is this flower on top. I'm gonna select the path, copy it, and I'm going to add it to the position of our flower. I hope that's gonna work. Let's see. I think the position should start from here. Let's paste it and see what's gonna happen. Kind of works. We select all the keyframes and align with our flower. There's also some kind of rotation, I don't know why. So as you can see, exporting Figma to After Effects, it's not super accurate, but it's good enough. I will pre-compose our flower. So let's add a bit of rotation. We can also change the position. Let's add a bit of scale. I will change maybe to 20%, 120%, and then back to 100. It will add a little bit of bounce. And let's apply the ease. I'm okay with this animation, so let's switch to the body moving plugin. Hit the render button so we can render our animation. Okay. In order to add our animation to our Astro project, we will need a lot of integration. And finally, we can create an Astro component by importing JSON file from After Effects and importing the Loti library. Let's preview the final result. I will also add the URL to the Astro project in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.